what's up guys welcome to e-reviews in this video i'm going to be showing you how to root and unroot the xiaomi redmi 1s and most of all why you should root it of course it's going to void your warranty and stuff like that but what are the advantages of rooting this phone uh, well let's talk about that in the later part of the video but before that i would like to show you that this phone is in the unrooted state for that we'll have to go into security uh, permissions as you can see the root permission area is grayed out so you can't really do anything over here so let's get into the routing process in order to root and unroot this phone you will need two files namely the update.zip and the unroot native underscore redmi one zip you can download these two files from the links in the description uh, I've already done that so let me just go ahead and show you guys how the files look there you go the update.zip and the unroot native underscore redmi one zip uh, the update.zip is used for the routing process whereas the unroot as the name suggests is used to unroot so let's just go ahead and root this phone uh, please be informed that this will not de uh, delete your data but it is always better to uh, back up your data into your SD card so in order to do that let's quickly go to tools and click on updater it will take you to this place where it will check for updates so there you go uh, I'm running the latest version of MIUI so let's click on options in this list of options click on select update package this will take you to the file explorer so kindly locate the update.zip file and click on it this will prompt you this will give you a message saying to install the update and reboot your phone touch update so I'm gonna go and touch update yep start update We have uh, rebooted the phone so let's go ahead and see there you go guys we have a confirmation saying that that the update is complete uh, just sorry for the blurriness yeah the update is complete let's go ahead and check in the security app permissions so there you go the previously grayed out uh, root permission area is now accessible so you can switch off and switch on the root permissions so let's go to root checker to validate this verify root so there you go congratulations the device has root access this uh, the same process applies to unrooting the phone but let's uh, talk about that later let's talk about the advantages of rooting the phone uh, one of the main advantages you get after rooting your phone is the ability to delete any app that you want say system apps or personal apps or any app so I use this app called titanium backup so I'm just gonna go ahead and click on ok click on backup and restore as you can see these are all the list of apps that are present in the phone and the red ones indicate the system apps uh, they're pretty important so you have to watch what you delete if you delete uh, any important app uh, you can can expect your phone to go into brick so let me just go ahead and uh, show you how to delete an unwanted app okay for all of these are pretty important okay let me just go ahead and delete this magic smoke wallpaper I don't really use uh, live wallpaper so I'm gonna delete this as you can see there's an option called uninstall do you wanna uninstall it yes and yes so there you go the uninstallation of the system map is complete so this is basically the biggest advantage where you get when you root your phone can delete uh, all the other bloatwares that uh, Xiaomi has offered as well uh, if you're worried about uh, voiding your warranty or uh, uh, getting uh, over the air updates you can always go ahead and undo the phone uh, in order to do that let's go ahead to tools 
updater again it's pretty much the same process you just have to choose the un unroot native underscore redmi one s dot zip so let's click on select install uh, select update package sorry locate the unroot native redmi one s click on that and select update and start update so there you go the same process will repeat and uh, once you're done you will have no root permissions in the phone and you will be able to receive uh, over the air updates so there you go uh, we have completed the rebooting process and there you go again we have an update complete message let's go ahead and see if we have root permissions so there you go the root permission area is grayed out again which means that the phone is unrooted so that's about it guys this was a short video on uh, how to root and unroot uh, I hope the information was helpful so if you like my video go ahead and click the like button and uh, subscribe and share thank you for watching see you soon